Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Access. In this module, I want to go through how you can create a report based on a query. So just to recap what we have in this database, we have three tables, courses, a table of courses, as you can see there, with a lookup for staff ID. Pull that one down. We have a courses lookup table, which is just a list of courses. And then we have a staff table, which is a list of people and when they joined. Close that down. Last time we created a form, which allows you to see the people and the courses that they attended. If you navigate through these, you can see the courses that they attend. Like so. So what I want to do is create a query that's going to join these two tables together, courses and staff. If I go to database tools, just to remind ourselves, that is the relationship in this database. One member of staff can do many courses. So I'm closing that down and now I'm going to create a query. Create. I'm going for query design. This is the query by example grid. So I'm just going to bring those two tables on, even though you've got them over here. So courses and staff. And then you can see the relationship automatically comes through if you've created it in database tools, as I showed you just a second ago. So in this example, I want the first name and surname from the staff table and then the course and level and the date from the courses table. Now, if I run that, have a quick look. That's OK. It's duplicating people's names because they're doing many courses. So I'll save this as QRY for query course list. Something like that. QI course list. So there I've got it. Click on that as a start point. Now, what I'm going to do is firstly show you what the wizard will do, which is not great. And then I'm going to recreate it myself. So click on create report wizard, which is you think would be the easiest one to go for. Bringing all the fields across, following it through. It's saying they're doing it by staff or courses. Um, yeah, so look at that. I'll do some grouping here. Grouping, I want to be by course. So it's going to list the course and then each person that did it. Next, I'm not too fussed about sorting. I'm going to change the layout to landscape. And then I'm not going to name it because I'm not going to save this, but I just want to show you what the wizard will do. So straight away, it has done it. It's grouped it by course and listed the people on those courses. Huge amount of space between the fields and it's truncated the actual dates at the end which is not what i want to do so i'm going to recreate this manually so i'll just close that off and then delete that i don't want that now i'm going to create that again so create um report design now the first thing you have to do in properties is tell the report what it's looking at so it's looking at the query that one course list once you've done that, you go to fields and then you can see the fields. Now, before I even add any field, I need to create some grouping. So I'm clicking on this option, group, and down, down the bottom there, add group. I want it course. So I get an area at the top there for course. Just drag courses in. I don't need that label. Let's get rid of that. Push that up to the top left. Now I'm going to make that a little bit bigger and stand up, stand out a little bit. So format, I keep bold and change the color of it. Um, it's probably not the best color actually, but never mind. Let's make that stand out. Change the font size. So let's see, it's a bit bigger, and then have a look to report design. Have a look. Mm, not great color, changing that color. I'll go for dark blue. But basically, you change the color to suit your own personal preference. 
so I've gone for blue. Now I want this pushed up a little bit because the rest of the data is going to go on there. So now I want um, first name. Come on, don't need a label. Just pushing that over there. And then surname, bring that on. Don't need the label. Now the problem with doing it like this is it doesn't look great. If I just have another look at that, you get these little boxes and it's depending on how big the name is, depends whether it fits in there or not. I can get rid of this gap later on. But what I'm going to do is use concatenation and create a, a combination of these two. So to do concatenation, which means join text string with field information. So I'm clicking on AB, drawing a rectangle. Don't need the label. You have to start with equals though. So in there, equals. So first name, you refer to it with square brackets. So first name close square brackets. Now I want to join it with surname and I want a space in the middle of it. Now this is the concatenation symbol that you need to do. The and sign. Now the space is achieved by using quotes and then I need another and sign to get the surname field inside square brackets as well. Like that. Now if I click away and let's have a quick look at that. See it does it like that. John Smith all together. Rather than that it's better. I think it's better. So I'll get rid of that. Highlight those two, don't need that. So push this one to the top there. Make this a little bit smaller, this box. You can get rid of the boxes as well in properties, but let's um let's just make this stand out a little bit better than that. So make it bold. Now the other fields are you've got Course is already there. You've got first name, surname. You've got level and date of training. So, do I want level? Let's go for date of training. And then I'll just knock that label off and put this next to that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this. I'm going to use the format painter, which is that. And then put the format into this, which then makes that the same sort of size. Keep having a look. Have a look. Access date. Okay, so these boxes need to be made smaller. I need to get rid of this space. So let's make these boxes a little bit smaller. So they're all similar. Push that one up to the top. Get rid of this space. Like so. Now, I don't want these boxes. So I need to go into the property sheet. And basically, you've got background style normal. So you can put that to transparency. So there's no color there anyhow. So you've got back color, border style solid. That's what I want to change. Putting that to transparency. And then let's have a quick look, see if it's done it. Yeah, I've still got that on the actual titles. Well, I'm going to change the titles to make them colored in completely. So I'll just use the paint pot there. Color those in, not that color. Go for a light color. Like that. Let's have a look. Okay. So it's got the listings there. You can get rid of these bars as well if you don't like those. That's just a bit of separate things off. Go back into design. I'm just going to push everything to the left margin a little bit. I like that lot. Drag it over, put it in. It just take a little bit of time to get this looking how you want it. But once you've done it, it's it's a job done. You don't have to do it again. Okay, so that's all the courses. Go back into it. Now, as as the courses, people do courses, they'll just get added onto this automatically once you save it. You can put um, a title at the top there. Report title and AA box. Just highlight that. So it's course listings. Or whatever you want to call it now normally that would be a lot bigger than that so if we go back to format change the font up to something bigger 28 26 center that it's centered within the box so wherever the box is i will leave it on the left hand side actually it's centered in the box so you can see it like that and if i have I had another look so you can um 
position this where you want it. I probably don't want it there. I love that left as well. So go back to format and click on left. And then I'll save that and call it RPT course listings. And then that's everything okay. I want it. Close that down. Close that down. There it is. So open it up. There's my report. So I'll just give somebody else an access course. So go back into the form. Go on to somebody who hasn't done loads of stuff. Okay, so Dave Jones, he can do access. Level one. You can do it today. Control semicolon, press tab off that, open the report, and there it is Dave Jones, access 21 of the 3rd, 2024. So that's all I want to talk about in this little session. Hopefully, it was of use, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you for your time.